Here's the deal, more often than not, people get in their own way. And they're like, hey, I really wanna go do this, like go backpacking, but I don't have the gear, like I can't afford it, all of that stuff. Well, actually you can. So with a $20 budget, I ended up going to thrift store, dollar store, stuff like that. Got some pretty sweet scores. This is probably my favorite. G.I. Joe Fishing Strike Team sleeping bag. Pretty sure it's from the 80s. Thermarest, again, very possibly from the 80s. Sweet backpack, probably from the 80s. But I got this and a bunch of other stuff for $20. So I'm gonna go have a $20 adventure. I obviously need to pack this stuff up, but we get this stuff packed up and head up into the mountains. All right, load it up to include peanut and time to hit the trail. I want to say, yeah, probably like almost quarter after 11 and we're going to get after it. will say as far as load goes, man, way nicer in the summer than in the winter where you have to carry so much stuff. About five minutes in, I'm not falling out yet. Mark it. Good job. Still headed up. And yeah, finally kind of turned west, I guess. Initially moving kind of south. But grinding it out. Been hiking about an hour. Just stop for about a five minute break. Drink a little bit of water because it's thirsty. Out of my sweet Nalgene bottle, cost 25 cents. And yeah, I'm hoping the Nalgene bottle leader will get me there because I don't want to break into my pack for more water and have to repack it. But continuing up. These are huckleberries. All of these. Except peanut. Oh, it's hot. Thirsty. Been going for almost two hours. I stop in a minute.
Keenan and I decided to take a break because we're hot, if you can't tell. <laughs> uh, I have a 25 cent Nalgene, about two thirds, probably gonna drink at least another third or just kill it because I don't think it's too much further to uh, where we'll be camping. It's ready to quit, but it's not time yet, buddy. A little bit further. Not finding any water up here. Which sucks for me and for Peanut. We just got his saddlebag stuck. Whatever, he's gonna lay in the shade. Damn it. There's no water up here. So to do what I did not want to do, break into my pack, for my $2 pot, and fortunately been carrying an extra almost two liters, so I'm gonna get a peanut some water. So thirsty. Really, that's it? You just want to wet your whistle? Hey, no one else is drinking this gross water now. It's so gross. Peanut only drinks the finest Alka 9 water? Weird. Peanuts breathing really loud. Full disclosure, a little disappointed. There's no water up here, which means I have to hike back down to go get water and find somewhere to camp. But I'm pretty close, so I feel like I should just push up at least to the saddle so I can look over the other side. Pretty cool up here. It's like, mm, I kind of like air conditioning. Peanuts hogging all the shade. Aren't you? I'm just laying on top of them. Took us, well, not that rest. Took us about three hours to get here. It's Quarter after two. Kind of hungry. And I drank about a liter of my water, but I was not planning on sharing. 
so I have probably a little one for Pika left. And even though the summit is not too far, well, the saddle anyway, it's not very far up there. The right answer is to go back down and go find water and then come back up tomorrow with water. So Pika can drink all the time. It's probably the plan, but rest a little bit more. Silver lining to peanut drinking all of my water is my pack is lighter now. But I'm gonna go down, find water, make water, and figure out a spot to camp. I can hear water down there, but it's hard over someone's panting. So I think I'm gonna try and go downstream a tiny bit more. If we can go downstream a tiny bit more and actually find it, if I can get access to it. Otherwise we gotta hike further down. Drink your field, dude. Peanuts chilling. Got everything here. My sweet cup. And this pot full of kind of gross water. But I need to go ahead and get that water boiled so I can drink it. Tastes a little gritty probably, but whatever, it's water. Got a little pine pitch from a tree. It should help this stuff go. And I'm gonna go start my fire with my lighter from the dollar store. Well, my little fledgling fire grows, I'll tend it, and I'm probably gonna eat something. It's 1600, still working off of some coffee and butter and some water and stuff. And by and stuff, I mean some element in the water. Electrolytes. This water looks super gross, but not as gross as dehydration. True story. One, two, three. Hydrate. Or just lay on the rocks. So as part of my $20 adventure, I needed a knife, obviously. And I ended up choosing this one, honestly, just based on handle material. A lot of knives are pretty crappy, like crappy handles. And if I end up having to do tasks with this knife, I would much rather have a comfortable handle. So chose that. Then I made a pretty sweet sheath out of, I guess it's from Element, the salt drink mix, one of the packages and a little bit of duct tape, prison shank. This was, I'll have to give you a close up. This whole thing was serrated. I want to say like a steak knife and that really doesn't do much for me. So I hand profiled this thing with like a crappy, like two-sided sharpening stone from like the dollar store. And so, yeah, 
put an edge on it, it's basically razor sharp. We'll see. Cuts. It's a start. May as well be a lightsaber, it's so sharp. Hmm. Nice. First thing I cut with that. It's happening. Roll and boil. One pot of really hot, clean water. That I don't really have a method of getting out of there right now. Bummer. Hot and I'm thirsty. Measuring cup, pretty clutch. Getting way better at collecting water. Not very much sediment in there. Sweet. What do you think, Peanut? He's just hungry. All right, so what did I get for my $20? First of all, I came in under budget, but I'll give you a rundown of the stuff. And granted, I did this kind of on a whim as far as, hey, I'm gonna do this. And then I spent like maybe a week getting stuff together. So if you have time and opportunity, you can probably stretch that $20 even further and get some even better deals. But living in Coeur d'Alene, there is St. Vinny's, St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. And if you ever go there, go on Wednesday, cause it's half off, which is why the place is totally packed on Wednesdays. But I ended up going in there on a Wednesday and I was like, let's do this. So first off, I ended up getting this right here external frame pack with a hip belt the everest world famous number 228 for all i know this could literally be like serial number 228 like the 228th pack ever made by this company i don't know but it is definitely old as hell down here boom ykk zipper and this zipper self-destructed, also YKK, I'm not sure if they'll warranty it for me, has one of those cool little things where you can put like your, I don't know, basically a little card that has your name and address if, I guess you get lost, information on there. And, oh, so something pretty cool. First of all, I got this pack. It was $8, but Wednesday, $4. So pretty sweet straight out the gate awesome pack actually magnesium frame i didn't even know that was a thing and yeah i could catch it on fire at some point there's bugs on me but i got this thing so i'm like cool pack done what else can i find there and i ended up oh jeez scoring this which I've always been too cheap to buy a Thermarest, and I legitimately found this thing, which actually holds air. I tried it before I came out here. And yeah, legit Thermarest. This thing, $10, 50% off, $5. So right here, 
Thermarest Ampac, which just happens to match. A minute, nine bucks. My math should be good. Nine bucks. And then I spied this guy right here. This beat up Nalgene bottle, like really beat up. And when I found it in the thrift store, it had this much water in it, which was pretty gross. I immediately poured it out. But the tick, I hate ticks. Anyway, I got this Nalgene bottle. Part of the reason for it was, well, one, it was a quarter. So there's that, 25 cents, hard to beat. They're pretty much indestructible and water's almost boiling. And that's the other part of it. I know that they're pretty much indestructible. So if I need to boil water to make my, like make potable water, then I can do that and pour it straight in here. It's not gonna like melt or anything like that if I try and like cheap out on a water bottle. So I got this 25 cents and I even, Camping is never light when you're filming. So I obviously did not get this. This is my camera case, but I did bring some sweet stickers for this Nalgene bottle, which I'll rehab later with stickers. So I got this 25 cents, $4, $5. And then I knew I was gonna need a cutting tool. So I got this right here, which pretty much described for you already. I made the little sheath for me or for it this morning out of cardboard and duct tape and it's pretty sweet straight up prison shank and then what else pot pretty clutch stainless steel it's boiling water the pot i want to say was or this knife was one dollar marked down to 50 cents that pot was supposed to be four bucks marked down to two and then I think this was a dollar and then I got it for 50 cents. This has been really clutch. Being able to get water where I would not be able to get my pot or pretty much any, or my Nalgene bottle for that matter, get it out, get it in there. Yeah, really, really cool. And on top of that, like it's just a really cool measuring cup. And in the morning when I make coffee, I will be able to hold my coffee cup and drink out of it rather than try and burn my hand or try to not burn my hand holding it like that. So a lot of bases covered there. Oh, and then I needed, I think that was all the stuff I got there at St. Vinny's, but then I needed a sleeping bag. So they didn't have any there at St. Vinny's, I checked. So I went to Idaho Youth Ranch, another thrift store. And lo and behold, this is not a sleeping bag, but this. So the whole story is I ended up walking up, as I was walking up, like to go find the sleeping bags, I spotted them. Some guy had this and I was like, oh, you better put that down or we're gonna fight right here. And he did, fortunately, because I saw it, camouflage G.I. Joe real gear. And I'm like, this is meant to be. And it also has this other patch on here, too. The fishing strike team, G.I. Joe. And I saw this thing. I'm like, I really want that sleeping bag. And then I looked at the price tag and it was $10.99. I'm like, would totally blow my budget. Like, I can't do it. And they had another sleeping bag there that I think was like $5.99. I would have just came in at budget. Honestly, a really good sleeping bag, like a good sleeping bag. And I'm like, but this is the one I want. And I'm like, I swear they have special tags. And so I walked around, I saw a sign. I went, I asked the lady, I'm like, hey, is, I saw that sign, it says uh, black tag, 75% off. She's like, yeah. I'm like, thank you. Went back, grabbed this sleeping bag with, which this amazes me, matching stuff sack. And I think it amazes me because somehow this sleeping bag and stuff sack have stayed together for decades at this point in time. Bam, got it, three bucks. Would have been less than three bucks, but I rounded up for 
the charity of the Idaho Youth Ranch. And yeah, pretty stoked right there. And then I'm like, okay, well, what else, what else do I need? And I'm like, I have a pot, I can boil. I'm like, well, if I'm gonna do fire, I need something for that. So I ended up actually going to the dollar store and boom, my little slim Bic lighter. Cost me a dollar, but pretty much guaranteed fire. And that's pretty important. There's no way I was going to find like a ferro rod super, well, I don't know. If I had more time to look around thrift stores, I could probably find one. But this slam dunk, now I had fire covered. And then I was like, you know what else I need? Maybe some cordage. You know, like the guys in uh, Boondock Saints are like, yeah, like you might need the rope. You never need, you might need the rope. I'm like, I probably need some cordage, like 550 cord, right? So used part of my budget on 550 cord still under budget but this morning i didn't even gone through this pack like literally i packed this thing this morning in the parking lot and so i was going through this pack unzipped this bottom pouch over here lo and behold i actually moved it up to this upper pouch Did not find a DACA pouch in there with battery charger. Would have been cool, but I did not. But I found this, which is honestly equally as cool. Twine, and I don't even know what this was, like, but yeah, like ghetto cordage. I found both of these inside this pack. So, yeah, I was like, well, obviously you don't need that 550 cord. I took it off my budget, but I'm not going to go return it to the dollar store. Keep it, do something else. But I think that right there, I think that pretty much covers like $20 in gear. Again, coming in under budget. Now, I'm out here on this adventure. There's obviously other things like my toothbrush in there or brought a jacket just in case. I also brought, I think, some sunscreen and some bug spray. I'm obviously wearing clothes, but you're going to wear clothes. Like, it's probably a thing. You probably already have them. So with 20 bucks, though, I was able to get my backpack under $20. Backpack, sleeping pad, pot, my little metal measuring cup, a knife, a lighter, did I already say sleeping bag? Sleeping bag. And I would buy some cordage, but I didn't need it. And, yeah, that's right. My Nalgene bottle. Kitted out under 20 bucks. I will say it would be nice if I had another way of purifying water, though, because it's really hot and boiling water is not appetizing at all. So I've been pouring it into here because this can take the temp. And then, again, from the dollar store, I got, I think it's like almost a two liter bottle of like water, pH water. And so after I pounded that with peanut because we could not find water up higher, I've poured water into here, let it cool down some, then pour it into there so it doesn't melt that cheap plastic, and then shove it under some rocks where a little bit of water is trickling through to cool it down. So pretty soon I'll actually have some cool water, which will be really nice. But yeah, that's where I'm at on this $20 adventure right now. Oh yeah, and I figured I'd probably need some sort of light. Bam, dollar store. They actually had ones that were flashlights, but then they needed three AAA batteries, I wanna say. And it would have used up my entire budget. This way, money to spare. And with this clip, and it pivots, well, here. Probably need this tonight. I can clamp it onto my hat, turn this guy around, boom, headlamp. If I need to walk down the dark, it'll probably leave me wanting, but 
light for a dollar. So let's put stickers on now. Apparently this belongs to someone named E.G. Don't know who that is. So hungry. 